Back in the day, we used to get bored or have a talk with ourselves. We'd find things to accomplish to get a happy feeling, and this is how philosophers and scientists arose. But we instantly make ourselves feel good by all the access that we have. We are all addicted to dopamine. Every day, we're finding more ways to escape reality and feed our minds with more bullshit. That's why I've given myself a challenge with one sole purpose. I'll be going to Iceland alone with just my camera and I'll be doing the most extreme dopamine detox anybody has ever seen with one sole purpose. Film the Northern Lights. Anything that gives me external dopamine is cut off and to make it even harder, I don't even have a GPS. The, all I can do to, for directions is use a pen on my map that's not even accurate and ask people for directions as you can see Iceland is goddamn big I don't know I am the fact that I have to do this with a map unfortunate let's go without the phone finding the camping site is definitely harder than you think but you don't have a phone with Google Maps? No, that's the point of, of me doing it. So what's gonna happen if you, like, get an accident or, like, somebody's gonna rob you? Well, all these workers are nice enough to tell me that the nearest camping site is only 30 minutes away. Maybe it's a good moment to mention that I came straight from Amsterdam dance event without sleep and three hours of delay at the airport. I am lost. I'm falling asleep. If I don't find a camping site, I can't, I literally can't sleep. This is hard. Not even the dopamine detox, but like me challenging myself. I don't know why I didn't take a GPS. It's such a stupid idea. No way. Strandeskide. But this would be a good place to see the Northern Light. Good morning. You know, I just kind of want to want to go for a run. Gotta get my dopamine for something, right? Oh, let's go. Being on a dopamine deficit makes you do stupid stuff like running around in minus five degrees Celsius in a tank top. But at least it looks good. The view, not me, the, the view. So, we're going to the Golden Circle, one of the most majestic places of Iceland, which is right here. Somewhere here. I lost. Something like a two hour drive. <laughs> two hour drive. I don't have a GPS. It's gonna take us five hours. Why am I making this challenge so hard for myself? I don't even know. Do you know what's interesting about doing a dopamine detox? Well, that you get excited about things you usually don't get excited about. Yeah, you don't really see it. But those rocks right there. That's normal stuff here. The fact that I'm getting excited over rocks means that I don't have any dopamine. <laughs> this is this is where I get my dopamine from at the moment. Rocks! <laughs> I need to get to Reykjavik real fast. There it is! Reykjavik! City of dreams! Because I don't have any dopamine, I was actually so excited to start working on this video. And after a few hours, I asked one of the bartenders if she could give me the directions to the next destination. Kira? Yep. Kira. Kira? Kira? So you would recommend me doing this without a GPS, right? No. Oh. It's a really stupid idea. Okay, thanks. I believe that I do not need a GPS or need to be rescued. Usually by now I would have posted 200 different Instagram stories, but now I'm just here. We're constantly on our freaking phones. We're constantly avoiding any conversations with ourselves. The reason why I come to the point where I am today is being able to have a full on conversation with myself. And even though they are hard, there's still conversations that you need to have. Get lost, challenge yourself, get out of your comfort zone, because those are the moments where you're the happiest. Iceland is known for a lot of mysteries and a wide range of different temperatures. It's an active volcanic region, and even though the volcanoes have been silent this year, you can still see the consequences of all the past eruptions and the mysteries that Iceland has to offer. And who doesn't like some explosions? Right here behind me is Geyser. You're not actually allowed to walk down there because it's just way too hot. If any of the, that water hits the drone, I'm fucked. <laughs> So let's just hope that doesn't happen and I have enough skill to be able to fly around the geyser. Oh, there you go. That's one. I think we're at the wrong geyser. I did not expect that. Since I'm not getting any dopamine from other stuff, these natural phenomenons 
are turning me to fuck on. <laughs> so, quick question to you. Yes. All the food here is Icelandic, right? Yeah. So we have uh, the meat, the lamb, the duck. That's from the mainland Iceland. You you, ca you catch duck here and you eat them? Yes. <laughs> I mean, not my Dutch. Just, I'm okay. vegan. Okay. I'm, I'm vegan, okay, so, so I don't. So everything I will eat here is pure Icelandic. Exactly. And actually, we want the price for the best lamb in Iceland. The best so... lamb. This lamb is giving me a lot of dopamine. It's so good. Oh my god. When I'm so used to having my phone when I'm eating, just being on Instagram or watching a YouTube video, and now it's just pure silence. Every single time I'm having food, I'm so much more on my thought. I'm just reverbing the day back to me of what happened, how it happened. It's an experience, I can tell you that. Can you see this? It's this huge red redness in the sky. Is this the Northern Light? The Northern Light is supposed to be red, uh, green. I want to see what this is. Usually, I wouldn't get excited by a light in the sky, but <laughs> these things tend to happen when you start detoxing from dopamine. I drove off route to figure out what that light is, and I think I found what it is. It's right over there. It's like this whole light. It's a ca it's a cast. This is the spot where fruit is being made and like strawberries and stuff like that. There's so much light beaming out of the sky just of this. To be really honest, I was really hoping to see the Northern Light tonight, but we saw a red light that was a cast with, with strawberries that were growing in there. Hey, who gives them there? Well, we're getting closer. I mean, the whole reason why I'm making this is to get the best YouTube videos out there. I want to ground myself way more and experience life in a completely different perspective than I usually would do. This is my journey for you so that we can grow together, learn together. You will learn something, you'll be entertained, and at the same time, we're having a lot of fun together, right? <laughs> The next morning, we are refreshed. It took us two hours to get to Selfless and we finally have a shot to check out the Golden Circle waterfall. For once, I didn't mess up. I, I'm, I'm surprised myself. I um, messed up. Right now, I'm here at Selfless. I had to be at Gulfoss. Gulfoss is actually where we were yesterday. It's right here. Why didn't I just check the notes? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> At this point, I'm just following my gut feeling, and my feeling says that somewhere down this road should be a waterfall. This is where the road ends. So let's see if this waterfall is actually up there. I am quite sure I'm not allowed to hike here, but the view is immaculate. Wow. The higher the risk, the better the reward. Final. Stretch, this is it. Oh my God. Well, this is a beautiful black beach. And with the sun setting, going over the beautiful black sand, you are probably wondering, why the fuck is this sand black? Um, yeah, mostly lava. These past couple days were a very eye-opening experience for me. The issue for us in general is that life goes on so fast and we don't take those moments to actually appreciate the things that are most dear to us. A dopamine detox is here just so that you can appreciate the moments that you actually have a bit more. Hearing somebody's voice is so precious to me right now. I can't tell you how eager I am to just get to work. We exhaust ourselves so much with all the instant gratifications that we don't even want to work anymore. We just keep procrastinating because there's so much other things to do. Walking on this black beach makes me think of death. So are you living life to the fullest? Are you actually living a life worth living? Or are you already dead? They say that you have two lives. The first life is when you get born and the second life is when you realize that you'll die. So start living. The final night means last chance to see the Northern Light. I have my GoPro, which will film the whole night. If there's gonna be a green light beaming from the sky tonight, we are gonna see it. The next morning, I arrived at the airport realizing that I forgot my GoPro. So I took the first taxi back and luckily it was still there 
at the camper. These past few days have been absolutely beautiful, man. If anything, I've learned to trust myself more. And if there's something that you should do is trust you and the universe a little bit more. Anyway, I have the GoPro right here and uh, the camera actually shut off because, well, it was too cold and the battery ran out. So I hope we have any shot of the Nodal Light. No way. It's just 40 seconds of this. I think I can see a little bit of green and I don't think there's anything. Yeah, well, that's it. Wait, 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 the last second. The la no way. Literally the last second, you can see the Nodal Light. No way. Oh my God. Oh my god, we got the auto light! We got the auto light! Okay, I'm gonna. Do it, Dopamine Detox. Subscribe.